Well, here it is, everybody. It's our Sunny Delight Double Whammy live product review here at It's a Rome Thing. And uh, this is the first time we've done a live product review. And uh, I'm going to let everybody out there vote as well on which one, if you have tried these, or if you think that they would, one would be better than the other, you can cast your vote. And uh, me and Rachel are going to taste test these here as well. So, yeah. Well, we haven't got quite into the review yet here. We're just going to sit here and chat a little bit and talk about a few things before we get into the review. We always have these. We bought these two glasses specifically for taste testing all beverages that we review. And uh, it's nice to have like soda out of the can or out of the bottle as opposed to out of a glass. Because for some reason or another there is just a slight bit of difference in the way it's the taste is perceived by the taste buds in the mind and everything else. So when you see the color of what you're drinking as opposed to just drinking something and trying to guess you know I don't know it's kind of hard to explain but either way uh, we were live earlier tonight for a little while I would made some homemade meatloaf and uh, cheesy hash brown potatoes and it was just outstanding I outdid myself on this recipe using those uh, the snack crackers I showed the box of they were the generic brand from Hy-Vee and uh but I crushed up a half of a roll of these crackers and it measured out to about one cup of crumbs. So I used that in the meatloaf that I mixed along with a third of a cup of cookies barbecue sauce and an eighth of a cup of minced rehydrated onions and one egg and one pound of ground beef and salt and pepper and cavenders and that uh, crazy cooking spice that I showed. And I cooked that for approximately 30 minutes at 350 in a convection oven, and it turned out just. I'm sure if you've looked on Google Plus, you may have seen the pictures I posted. And here comes Rachel here for this. Two different flavors. There's the one. That's a green apple. What? Slam. And then this is just plain old watermelon. So which one would you like to try first? The green one. The green one? Yep. Yeah. Alright, we'll get into the green one here first. And we'll take a smell. It smells like green apple right away. You want to smell it? Smell, smell. Yeah. I'll pour you some here. For myself, so it's all over the table. It's tobacco when I fixed that broken square <laughs> uh -huh. earlier. So there's what it looks like. Let's taste it here. Ooh, oh, boy, is that an overpowering sour green apple? Yeah. Wow, it just makes my whole face go. Yeah. Pucker, pucker, pucker power. I like it though. I liked it enough to slam it. It's kind of like an apple and almond later in a way I thought it tasted. Here's the nutritional information, everybody. All that nutritional information about your sunny delight. Burst. Sunny burst. This one just says sunny D. It's kind of peculiar how it's different that way. Yeah. Well, would you like some more? Or we want to try the other one. You want to try the other one? Sure do that. Okay, so there was the green one, everybody. You can cast your vote anytime you like in the comments and the chat. This is the watermelon. And this here is the watermelon. Note, I'm not a big fan of watermelon. Let's smell either. it. Let's smell it. I'm guessing this is going to be like a Jolly Rancher taste. Let's find out. Mm. 
Yeah. It's kind of sour as well. Yeah, I don't care for that one as much. Oh, I'm not really feeling the watermelon mm -hmm. it's really that strong in flavor like the green no, apple was. It's pretty weak, but I just I don't like the taste of it. Yeah, it tastes more like a now and later. Kind of like that one. They, they're real similar in taste to now and later. It's got that, even that kind of eh taste that you get from now and later. Yeah. But yeah, I like the green one. Me too. I realize this is a completely different product than now and later's or Jolly Ranchers. However, there are two of them. And you like this one, huh? Yeah, better than the other one. This one here has no fat. It has 320 milligrams of sodium. It's 13 percent. Vitamin C is 200 percent. Total carbohydrates is 29 grams, sugar is 27 grams, protein is zero, diamond 30%, and uh, that's pretty much it. What's in these things here? I've showed it to y'all. There's again. And the one watermelon is 320 milligrams of sodium, which is 14%. Same vitamin C. The sugars are 28 grams, the carbohydrates are 29 grams, the protein is zero, and it's high in 30%. So there's really not a whole lot of difference in the nutritional values between the two beverages. No, I just, I prefer the green one over the watermelon, the green apple. Me too. These were five for two dollars. What was it? Was it five for two dollars? It was five for four dollars. Yeah. That's what it was. And uh, we only picked up two because we've tried all the other flavors, so we want to try something different that we haven't tried. Right. And we're at the 12 o'clock mark. I notified all of our communities and everybody that would be going live tonight. And hopefully uh, somebody will tune in here and take part in this. Once more, that green. Yeah, the green one. All right, let's try the green again. We haven't rated this yet, and we're waiting to see if anybody else jumps in here to... Tell me what they might think. The green's almost gone. The green I'd rate probably, I don't know, almost a five. Almost a five on the green one? The green apple? Yeah. The green apple on a scale of one to five, I would rate it about a four, because the flavor is very solid. Um, this one, however, I'm not really too sure. I do like the green one. I'd buy it again. Maybe. But this one, this watermelon, I'm going to try it one more time here before I can give it a final rating of what I might think it might be. Because I feel like there it is. Watermelon Sunny D. Lat. Did you spill? Yep. Yes, you did. <laughs> On you and I. Hey guys, great seeing you live. Hey, uh, Josh, <laughs> Top Gun Sorrels. We've been good friends with Josh for a very long time. And uh, he does a lot of different reviews on different products as well, kind of like we do. Uh, this one here, I would say on a 1 to 5 scale, I would give this a 3.75. What do you say? On the watermelon? On the watermelon. Probably a three and a half. Three and a half. So yeah. this one didn't fare as well as this one did. <coughs> Cat's hiding under the table over there. I think it's because it's cooler. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good stuff, everybody. I think it's so cool that YouTube updated the, the platform size. So now on the mobile platform, you can go live with just a click of a button, just like that. And that's what we did when we got home today. It said, you can now go live. So I hit that, and I put in a title. And then it, give, it takes a thumbnail. And then it counts three, two, one. You're live. And then here we are. Two different products, two different ratings. 
You can drop it in the down below here in the chat or in the comments after the video has finished live streaming. You can cast your vote for which one you think is the better two if you happen to have tried them. Or if you're just going to take our word for it. <laughs> but this one fared better than this one, everybody. And that's it. Uh, yeah. We'll finish these off here. Here, you want some more of that? Sure you do. Yeah. I know you gotta get busy back to my house. Community. All gone. I definitely like the green apple better. Mm -hmm. Green apple slam. What's that? I know, right? This is so cool. I like the burst one. Yeah. The burst has definitely got a lot stronger, more solid flavor. <coughs> green apple? Most definitely the green apple. This one here is a flavor that is a lot weaker than the green apple, Josh. Uh, I probably would not buy this one again. I'm not really a big fan of watermelon anything, or even watermelon for that matter. I just... I think eating watermelon is like eating those those pin cushions that you can buy, you know, those green ones, or if you push them with your fingers, it caves in underneath them. I don't know, you might see them in your grandma's house or something. I That's where I've ever seen them when I was a little kid, those ones. That's what watermelon reminds me. It's just like, I can't eat it. Plus, it's got seeds in it. I know grapes and oranges and lemons and everything else do too, but watermelon is altogether different. I don't like watermelon. Uh, like watermelon flavored products, some of them like fruit by the foot. <laughs> That's the good stuff. So yeah, well, that was our uh, our live review on the Sunny D. Uh, if you happen to try these products, let me know. Uh, we got some new products we're going to be reviewing here, and I have. Uh, some uh, new cooking DIY vlogs that I would like to bring up to our channel here in the next couple weeks or so, hopefully. I've got some recipes that I want to try and stuff that I haven't really cooked on camera yet or in a video while cooking. Some of uh, a little bit more in-depth meals like, uh, like some of the casseroles that we haven't tried. I like to make a taco. <clears throat> like a great big taco nacho type salad type of thing with the chips and and like a bean, beef and bean kind of a preset you can heat up and dump over it and then put cheese on it and then melt the cheese onto it and then put lettuce on it and then some tomatoes and onions and all the side fixings that like go on like maybe some lime sour cream over it drizzle over the top of it and everything and then maybe some uh cook up some flat iron steak and dice it up in little pieces and put that on there too and make like a big super nacho that kind of stuff is what I like Ugh, I can't get my burps out of me they're all stuck it was from drinking something other than Mountain Dew I suppose it did it what's that have you tried tamale pie no I haven't where would where would you get something like that? Or is that something I could make? I haven't. I've had tamales. I've had the ones that come in a can. And there, I think there's like eight of them in a can. They're just like tubular shaped. Also, like the tamales you can buy frozen from, I think it's Encore Banquet Mix. And you can just put them in an oven and heat them up. They just have the plastic film you peel back afterward. No, I haven't. I have not had tamale pie. That does not ring a bell. Would you like the rest of the watermelon? No. <laughs> no? Mm -mm. Well, yes. You should try it. Try making it. You can find the recipe online. I'll definitely have to look in and see if I can find a recipe and try that. That sounds like something that would be really good. But I do like uh, all different kinds of foods. <coughs> yeah, we got a lot of storms here today, everybody. It stormed really bad. The sky got really dark, and the winds were blowing in excess of 60 mile an hour. 
and a lot of it built up right over the North Highway region where we're at, and then it offloaded up over there, over Rochester, Minnesota, up by mail, which, you know, I've never wished anybody bad weather, but better them than us. <laughs> We've had enough bad weather here already. <coughs> oh, well, it's a terrible thing when you get a burp stuck and you can't get it out. Help me, help me! Ever see all our stuffed animals here? We've collected these, most of these from the village down in Clear Lake. And they sell beanie animals down there. All different kinds. For like a quarter a piece, they sell these. And get the little Care Bears. And uh, where's the other one? There's little Cliffords. Care Bear, yeah. We got Rocky, and yeah, we got we got about two of the big Rockies, a small Rocky, and we used to have uh, Garfield and Odie, but I don't know whatever happened to the full size ones we had. We had a full size Odie; it was about the size of a small regular dog, a real dog. Uh, but anyway, well. I know uh, it's getting kind of late at the night, but it's not past my bedtime yet. We usually are up here until about 2, 3, 4 in the morning every night because our day doesn't start till usually around noon, 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon is when we wake up because me working 5 to close nights, I usually am awake 2, 3 hours before work, then I go to work. And I come home, and I usually don't wind down from work until about an hour or two after I'm off of work. And then we eat, and then we hang out, and watch TV, and take our nighttime pills and get ready to go to sleep. And usually by the time we go to bed, it's anywhere between 2 and 4 in the morning. And it's, it's been those kind of hours here for us for well past the year since we've moved in here. And it's... It's not that I would rather be awake at night because everything around here is closed at night. But at the same time, it's a lot more peaceful and quiet. There's less traffic when I go to the stores like Walmart or the Casey's that are around the area. There's not a big line to sit in and wait for people. Like during the day, I'm going to go to the Walmart here and even into the early part of the evening when they all the checkouts close and all they have is those self checkouts which are a real pain in the butt for me especially if you're on a really tight budget and you're cutting pennies because sometimes it gets like that you know before payday you try to make those last couple cents stretch and sometimes you go over well then you have to have the assistant come over and delete all the extras that you may not have to have right at that particular moment while you're shopping but that's when we like to go there we walk past the coin star and you know everybody 90 percent of the time when we walk past a coin star <coughs> excuse me there's change or some kind of money in them every single time when me and rachel go to the grocery store we go to Walmart and they both have coin stores we always check their coin slot and I have found money in there from Iraq I found money in there from Mexico I found money in there from Canada I've even found some of the older money here from America which is just so mangled up or defaced or so faded out that the machine neglects to count it so that it spits it out into the little tray down below it's about this big and we have found a lot of good, cool coins in there. That, and I'm an avid coin collector for those of you who may not know. We have a really extensive coin collection that we have in our safe. And one of these days I'll take a picture of it or I'll bring it out and I'll show it to y'all during the video. I have a, a rare, it's, it's a newer penny, but it's, it's a rare. It's 24 karat gold plated penny that this company made when I worked at the junkyard they sent it out there to 
it was something they did in all the mailers. They sent it out, and I was the one that got the mail that day. And the boss says, well, I don't want that. It's crap you can have it. So I kept it. And I still have it. That It's just as shiny now as it was that day almost 10 years ago. And I have it in my safe. And I have a dime from the first and only Hard Rock Cafe in Aruba, the island. When we were down in Aruba, they were building a shopping mall. It was the first one to be built on the island. And they had, in the mall, before they had the concrete poured in the mall, they had a general walkway that was two by eight slats, two of them side by side, that stretched the entire length of the mall and to all the doorways. They didn't have the concrete, they just had the rebar and the, the string or whatever it is they put down with that. And we went into the Hard Rock Cafe and I got a Coke. It was 90 cents, I gave them one American dollar to give me back a little 10 cent Aruba dime which I kept, I've had that since I was 17 years old. So that's about 28 years ago. <laughs> and it's really shiny too. And it's got a little triangle, you know. The Aruba is the one big happy island. It's home to the DVDV tree. It's the only place that you can find this. And they also feature a natural land bridge, which is completely carved out from the waves of the ocean crashing into it repetitively over hundreds of years it has hollowed it out and created an inner lagoon which when you go on a tour of the island like we did they'll take you down there and there's a novelty shop and restaurant that sits right there on the peak before the little bridge yeah i just wanted to share that i've never really told that story to anybody else except for my friends and family and rachel but I've never done a live stream, so it's kind of different to come up in here and just kind of let people really, you know, see who I am and, you know, what I like to talk about and stuff that I may have experienced. And you know, I'm just trying to get a feel here for how to do a live stream. I, I don't do them as well as, like, Dark Matter or Cab 7 or Crimson Fantasy. All them guys at Granny Monster and Pet Monster and it's just on and on hundreds of our favorite fellow YouTube creators, friends and family here that we know. They've been doing this a lot longer and they've got a lot more experience with doing live streams. And I know that, you know, I'm not trying to copy them. I'm not trying to outdo them. I'm, I'm not even trying to be the same. I'm just trying to be me. I'm just trying to find my way with it. And, you know, I admire the crap out of all them guys. They are a great YouTube family here, y'all. If you haven't checked out a lot of some of the channels I may have mentioned here, uh, go by and check them out and tell them I sent you. You know, they're a great group of people. There's just a bunch of wonderful people in there we have met. We met, uh, I have to look at my phone. You know, I do have a bad memory, everybody. I should first and foremost tell all y'all that. And it's not on purpose. It's just living rough throughout my life I have caused myself a lot of burn damage over the years but I can still function just give me one moment everybody <clears throat> I can find her channel uh, this YouTube channel here as soon as I can find it I will show you no I just take me a minute I've looked at a lot of his since our last disconnect, I have been uh, faithfully watching literally hundreds of videos from every one of you guys because uh, we missed out a lot of them when we were shut off. Like my uploaded life, and uh, God, where is her channel? I'm getting close. <clears throat> There's Granny Monster, the 420 weatherman. We watched him last night. And Big Dude. Uh, Bray Bear Jones. Uh, let's see here. Wow, I didn't realize I watched so many videos yesterday. 
Let's see if we can just find it the quick way here. We'll go to our subscriber count here. I know uh, her channel is showing up in here. See, my other phone's really slow, guys. See that? It sits there and spins the white screens forever in a day. This is our Samsung Galaxy S. It was the first official, like, able smartphone that we got. <coughs> it's on an Android platform, by the way. There it is. Bama Girl Amy. Oh, you probably can't see it. Hold on. There it is, guys. Bama Girl Amy's channel. Go over there and check her out, y'all. She runs a great channel. Uh... She gives shout outs and she is a very loyal subscriber. We have subscribed to her channel. I do believe we met her in one of Dark Mirror's live streams, uh, whereas we have met most of the subscribers that we have, a lot of them. And yeah, she uh, was just dealing with, I do believe, she said something about a collapsed lung and a touch of pneumonia. I'm not sure on the specifics, but I think she's doing better. She was on, she posted a video earlier tonight. And also we have Black Death. Uh, let's see who else we got on here. We have Boogie the Man. Boogie the Man has a really great funny channel. I like his channel quite a bit. My sister's got a channel, Brenda Safos. I'm sure it's kind of hard to see it. It just doesn't really show up as great as it should. Oh, God, who was I going to mention here? There's Calvin's Corner 72, Candy M. Oh, yeah. Why don't you go check out our good friend Jason Callen? He has a great channel. He uh, does a lot of food reviews. He uploads multiple videos each day. And uh, recently he just visited the Rocket Pop Fizz. It was where they had all kinds of different sodas. And there's... We also have a second channel. If some of y'all are not familiar with it, it's called Gangsta Kitchen. It's my secondary channel, which I created... Uh, you know, on YouTube, when you start to get a lot of subscribers, what's that? Hi, Victor123909, and Top Guns Rolls Care Bear. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'll say, when you get up, you start getting a lot of channels, it gets kind of hard to keep up with all of your subscribers. Let's so say, can I suggest this for my channel? Just wondering, and what got you into doing YouTube? I guess I'll start calling this. Uh, my ideas on your channel, Josh, I think would be to, uh, <coughs> well, for me, if I had to look at what I was wanting to do to improve our channel, would be to be able to go live and to engage your viewers, uh, on that platform in that aspect uh what else could you do is to maybe uh if you want to get into uh, getting more subscribers and viewers and a lot more traffic i would recommend going and checking out some of the live streams from uh your fellow youtubers those that may have similar content or have similar interests as you, such as myself. Uh, well, I'm not saying recommending to watch me, but I'm just saying in reference of it. Like uh, Dark Matter, he is about community. He is about all of us being a good YouTube family here and act being active on each other's channels as far as like watching videos and dropping comments and sharing 
and recommending your fellow YouTubers out and about back and forth like uh, we've been doing here since we got involved with create not hate the hashtag uh, through pet monster pet monster came and subscribed to our channel one day and left a comment and that's how I got familiar with this entire community which is a great community it's one of the first communities to fully embrace us uh, the first community that did embrace us was the Snack Food Appreciation Society by Brandon Edwards, and that is a wonderful group as well. Though I, you know, have been a part, a member of that community, I have never really felt a hundred percent embraced by the founder of it. And I'm not saying anything bad about Brandon. It's a wonderful guy. He does great videos. Him and Hill, Will Mahoney. And he's been a great inspiration to me, as a matter of fact. When I started working at Bennigan's, this is before we had a channel, I thought, well, I'd like to look on YouTube and see if anybody out there has done reviews on the food. So I can kind of get adjusted to what people think of the food that's coming from a restaurant chain I work for. So I came up upon Brandon's uh, Monte Cristo review that he did. And I was truly inspired by him to want to maybe, you know, partake in doing food reviews. I had been watch I also watched Chris Jones from the Physiques of Greatness. Him and Vince had done a review of the Danny Boy Chicken from Bennigan's also. But that channel, he never replied to a single comment, and I commented on hundreds of his videos. It's sad to say I ended up parting ways with watching his videos because he never commented back or acknowledged and I don't expect it. But I mean it's kind of nice if you're going to take your time to watch a video and comment and put your real thoughts into it. And then it, a couple years go by and you still don't hear nothing. So I knew that uh, I wasn't bringing anything to the table for, you know, having a reciprocation of a YouTube family or connection of any kind. So yeah, the, the Create Not Hate community was a great thing for me and Rachel and our channel to become involved with, as well as our subscriber fan base that we do have, Meet and Pet Monster and a lot of the other Create Not Hate members and creators. It's just been a great thing all the way around. I mean, it's just been a godsend. I'm finding a community that you can be a part of, and a community that you can interact with, and a community that acknowledges you and watches your videos. I think it, it for me, it, re, it revived my interest in wanting to create more videos. Because for a long time there, I think about six months went by, we didn't put up a single video. I just just got frustrated because nobody would ever comment back to me. I would watch videos and I would wholeheartedly give my real thoughts and I would support some of the channels by sharing their videos and encouraging others to go check them out and subscribe. But it was a long process. It took a long time to get to where we're at and uh, I found by creating communities on Google Plus and building a big following on Google Plus has really helped us to reach a wider viewing audience. Uh, we've got currently 800 or more followers on all our collections on Google Plus right now. And we currently are moderating and owner or co-owner of upwards of about 20 different communities on Google Plus right now. And of those, three of them I have devoted specifically to YouTube and the Create Not Hate network of creators. And all, anybody that comes onto those communities on Google Plus, if you ask to join, because they're all asked to join communities, and I, I will approve you after I check your profile you can share your videos there you can interact with other members of the community and you can find similar content like creators in those communities 
And we have a little bit of something for everybody when it comes to our communities. I try to be as wide open and diversified as I can and try to accommodate everybody's different interests into our community so that nobody feels left out. Uh, I came on YouTube with the persona that a lot of people do. It's like, okay, well, how am I going to build my channel? Well, let's see. Let's go follow and watch the videos of the biggest YouTubers in this similar content category. And I thought, okay, well, that would be you know, a quick way to build a quick, fast subscriber base. And I couldn't have been more wrong. I am in one of your Google Plus group. Yes, you are, Victor. And I am so glad to have you all as a member there. So is Josh. He's a, a co-owner, actually, of one of our communities. I think it's... Uh, me if I'm wrong, I think it's our, uh, I want to say the Real People's Community or the YouTube Promote Share. I'm not exactly sure. The YouTube Promote Share community that we run on Google Plus, originally when I came across that uh, community, it was owned by Lord Zombie and Chris Reuter, some of y'all may know him as. <coughs> Well, for the longest time, I helped him get the community cleaned up and get it back on track and everything, but he wasn't getting what he wanted out of running the community. What's going on, everyone? I have to go back to bed, but I decided I'd come by and say hi. Wolfpack Woodcraft. Oh, we're just chilling there, pal. Uh, I was kind of talking about the communities a little bit, and uh, the like I said, the community, it was owned by Lord Zombie, but he, he just, he decided one day that he had had enough, and I don't know what was the cause or the exact root of it, but he decided to delete the community, and that was the end of it. Uh, there was no more community, and for a while I didn't, wasn't able to get a hold of him or reach him or anything, and then I finally reached him, and we talked about it, and everything settled straight out, but... After enough time went by, I decided, you know what, I'm going to rectify the community. I'm going to bring it back. So I did, with the exact same name, however, with a different owners, different moderators, different rules, and altogether different everything, but more devoted to the YouTubers, to the creators. And I even invited Lord Zombie to join the community. And I offered him co-owner or moderator if he so desired, but he never replied back. So I just left it alone. And, you know, I'm not going to force anything down anybody's throat when it comes to, you know, if somebody wants to join a community, that's great. Or if somebody would like to be a moderator for a community, that's also great. Now that we're able to live stream, I have appointed about a half a... I can honestly say you guys are doing a great job. You both are as dedicated YouTube as I am. I need to check on a group for you. I've been busy, so I've been sorry about it. Check on it. Talk this one. That's fine, man. There's no rush. Uh, anytime. I know you have a good food, good company community on Google Plus also. And I shared a video there. Uh, I think it was last night or the night before. So, yeah, I've been trying to be a little bit more active with other people's communities as well because... When, you, when you're a moderator or co-owner or owner of more than about 10 communities, it can be a little bit time demanding, but the, the reward is worth it and it's, it's worth investing the time, you know, to grow something properly and to grow it right and to make it be all it can be. It, it's going to take a commitment of your time and a commitment of your mind and your thoughts and yourself. And I've learned it. No, you can't just go and everything's big as big as daylight. Hey, how are you, Crimson Fantasy? Hi, Crimson Fantasy. I'm pretty good. Uh, we reviewed the Sunny D watermelon and the green apple uh, burst beverages tonight. We did this, our first product review. We started streaming here about five minutes to midnight. It was a little earlier than I started, but that's okay. I shaved my face, everybody. I got all that old, old, old look off of me, so I took a few years off. 
Maybe you'll wonder why I wear a hat a lot. It's because it's the only way to keep my hair out of my face and out of my food and out of my drink. What's that? Wow, Sadie Watermelon sounds nice. I want to try it. Yeah, the watermelon is all right. It didn't score as well as the green apple. But the green apple, let me tell you something. That green apple, ooh, that was on point. And it was very tart, very sour. And it, it, they nailed it, essentially. The watermelon, no, not so good. I mean, there's still some of it left. And I didn't really much care for it. I'd rather have my favorite beverage all day, every day. Um, yeah, we have, we've put a lot of work into our communities. <clears throat> we also have a collection on Google Plus, it's called The Midnight 20, it's, and it features YouTubers daily. I share anywhere between three and a couple dozen different YouTubers and videos to that community collection each day. A lot of which are channels that I will meet in live streams of others or comments sections of our videos people will comment and then we go and we'll check out these channels and if we come up on a channel we like or a channel that catches my attention or something anything that's you know something I will more than likely watch again I will share it to our Midnight 20 collection and that way everybody else that follows us can see these YouTubers and their channels and it helps for us to all grow and to be seen and it doesn't cost nothing. I've had people from other parts of the world actually tell me, well I'll share your video to my followers and my subscribers. What's I say? Midnight 20 Collection sounds like a good cause. Yes, the Midnight 20 was created as a vlog collection originally, but I just wasn't able to get enough vlogs up at the time. And I wanted somewhere where I could share YouTubers' videos. So I decided, well, let's incorporate it into the Midnight 20. Yeah, the Midnight 20 is about, you know, well, it speaks for itself. And that's where we share YouTubers' videos and help them out to grow. <coughs> I really need to quit smoking before it kills me. <coughs> Excuse me. Baking your powder. Did you fix video shop? Yes, I, I found out what was wrong with the video show. Uh, evidently, we switched from this phone to the one we're using now. And when I reinstalled Video Show into our new phone, I got the 10 minute cap uh, limit. Essentially what that means is if you get a video that's over 10 minutes, it's, it's gonna freeze. It's gonna demand more memory and RAM than is available by the device. And the first time it happened, I was able to delete some of the old videos out of our phone and out of the gallery video show and then it worked but then the next video I did was 11 minutes and 21 seconds and the video show froze and so then I ended up uploading the video sorry I get to mix up that 10 minute cap I know I totally agree I tried video shop the editor you did mention I did try it it was a lot like video show however a lot of the options were not there that video show has and as I was watching uh, the 420 weatherman I noticed that his videos he uses video show also and he keeps his videos right around the 10 minute mark he never really goes much past 10 minutes and some odd seconds and I, I kind of wondered about that at first and then now after encountering it myself I realized that that uh, that's why and also, the other thing that sucks about the free version is we have a GoPro that we got from Michael and Jennifer Barnhill, the Barnhill's Coolest Videos channel. They had a, yeah, I agree. I like the sound effects it has for your videos. Oh, yeah. The farts on Video Shop are much more realistic than the farts on Video Show. 
I noticed that right away because <laughs> I like the sound effects is one of my favorite things to add to videos. Uh, Larry from Crazy Tasty Food Review is asking me if they were bombing up around this area because I put the explosion sound effect at random throughout the video like 30 different times. And the next video that came up, he asked me, he says, are they done blasting up there yet? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they're done blasting. <laughs> What's that say? What did Bama Girl just comment? Bama Girl, Amy. Well, it's going to take a minute to show up. My phone's just slower than molasses. Going uphill backwards in the dead of winter. It's the slowest. I could drop it on the floor five times and it's just there go. Hmm. Hello! Cowboy and Cargill Sorrows is my inspirational channel when I give inspirational things to help encourage people who are feeling down so it's like create not hate. Yes. I find a lot of inspiration from you guys. Each YouTuber. I find a little, a little piece of inspiration in just about every YouTuber we watch has got one characteristic or another that that draws me into their channels. This is why my shout outs will be gone if it don't stop. What's that all about? Oh, I don't understand. Oh my god, you need to beep if that happens to be beep. Oh, by the way, y'all, there's a new uh, bot out there. It's called Your Anna or Your Annie. It showed up on our video this morning that I uploaded last night and then I, uh, this one, this bot, is not one, it, it's got some bypass on it, I was not able to report it. I was able to delete the comment and remove it from our video, but I was not able to report it, which, unlike the first three bots, which you could report, this fourth one is immune to the, it's kind of like the Borg effect. You know, you can hit them with the, hit them with, hit, let the rhythm hit them a couple times and then you become immune to it. So, if you had a look out for that, you guys. Yeah, it's the first time I've met um, this guy. It's her husband. We most certainly will go check the channel. I asked her for the link, but I think she might have missed it. Yeah, nobody should harass anybody on YouTube. No. Yeah. This is actually a really good idea for doing shoutouts, you guys. I uh, really like the way they do this. I've watched. I will watch the rest of this video. I just don't want to play the whole video right here and now. But yeah, as a reference point, this is a great idea. It's also a great idea, like what Darkmire does. He almost has like the auction off the channels, and I think that's a cool idea. Whether we get mentioned or not, it doesn't even really. It's not that important to me. It's nice to be noticed. I will sub to her channel. Yes, go and check her channel out. Tell her I sent you. And her husband. And I do believe she has, I think, one of her kids or a brother. I'm not sure specifically. But she mentioned it in one of the videos of hers. We watched one of the first videos when we got to know these guys. And uh, they're, they're great YouTubers, you guys. Be sure to go check out their channels. Uh we support all our fellow YouTubers. If you are subscribed to our channel, we are subscribed to you. We subscribe to everybody who subscribes to us. And we don't do just sub for sub. I don't want an uh, empty sub base here. But we do sub a lot of different channels. And I sub all the channels that I like. All the ones that I feel are good creators that have consistent good content people that are real you know, that aren't out here being mean to others or harassing others or anything of that effect 
people that are genuine, people that, you know, are trying to do their thing and trying to build a good, decent, reputable channel. And it takes a lot of time and it takes, you know, a long time to find your friends here on YouTube. But once you do, it's, it's so worth the reward of, you know, the time that you've invested in it. Because the time that you invest here on YouTube, it not only helps all the people that are receiving your views and your subscribe, but it also helps you and your channel to grow and to grow together as a community. And that's what we're all about here. We're all about create not hate. We're all about helping our fellow YouTubers and I'm happy to help anybody, anytime. If you ever are having a hard time with your channel or you are stuck in a rut and can't seem to get any more subscribers or views or, you know, just in general need some kind of help or a hand to hold on to, we're always here for you guys. All you gotta do is just let me know. You can comment on any one of our videos. And we do read all the spams and all the help comment reviews. A lot of people will delete that, but depending on what time of the video, where at in the video you comment, if you comment right at the beginning or toward the middle, I've been hearing that a lot of time your comments will get held, likely spam or held for review. The trolling finally stopped on my channel. That's great. I am so glad to hear that. Uh, I commented on Jason Callen's video, the taco, I think it was naked taco chips or something that he reviewed just recently and about an hour after that somebody commented a really derogatory mean comment toward Jason and I don't know if he's got me named as a moderator or because I named him as a comment moderator for our channel but I seen the comment and I deleted it and I, I reported it also uh, we are constantly on the lookout for any of these troublemakers and we'll put an absolute immediate stop to it when we do see it and we will post and highlight it to our real people's community on google plus so that our fellow creators know who to be on the lookout for and who to you know who the troublemakers are out here the ones that are causing and harassing other channels because we have zero tolerance for that no hate, no porn, no trolling, and no repetitive spam. Uh, some YouTubers will get mad if you share a link to their channel. If they share a link to their channel in a comment section of a video they're watching, some YouTube creators will get mad about that. Some will delete it. Some will flag it. Other people will just ignore it. I myself will follow the links and I will check out the channel and I check out the video and I have Johnny Fam I think his name is he's he's one of those guys that will say I watched you you watched me and he'll leave a link and, and I usually check out his links and watch his videos and I'll comment too and uh, I I tend to take a little bit different approach than everybody else does when it comes to dealing with other YouTube creators you know um, I'm still learning and it's been three years now since we started our channel and I'm still learning and I appreciate everybody that helps us to learn and all the videos if on a mobile platform which is what we use when you like on a video it doesn't hold the like I've liked on a video repetitively and I'll go back to it and my like won't be there. But you can always check out my liked playlist, liked videos playlist. And any video I've ever watched and liked will be on that playlist. It's in excess of 5,000 videos right now. So if, you know, I'll comment on your video as well. I'll say just liked, watched, or just watched and liked and subbed or shared or I liked your video and that's genuine and I never BS when it comes to that. I 
put the real deal out there in the comments and videos when I'm watching. <coughs> I've only ever unsubscribed to two YouTubers in our entire career here on YouTube. And those YouTubers were YouTubers that were starting crap with other YouTubers for no real reason. There were YouTubers that decided, well, I just don't like so-and-so, so I'm going to be a total cornhole about it. And so those two people have gotten blocked, banned, and unsubscribed from. I really don't even like to have to go there with that kind of stuff. I, the last thing I ever want to do here on YouTube is be a drama central I discourage it uh, life's just too short to be anything other than a decent person what's this here what do we got what do we got what do we got oh the takedown man is on live right now shout out there to you takedown man and also to our friend granny monster she has been feeling under the weather today you guys um, so pray for her to be feeling better and pray for healing in her and wish her the best. But that's about it. We're rolling up here on the one hour mark. Uh, we're going to probably shut this down here in the next couple of minutes. But that's about all I got. I, I know I'm kind of all over the board with the live stream. It's, it's my first, second time here doing this. And I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope uh, maybe next time more people will come out and check us out. So yeah, uh, we just changed our wallpaper on our YouTube channel. Everybody's wondering what that is on the picture. It's for the Hot Wheels cars, the light up ones that I featured to our uh, What's It Worth collection. And those cars, I will reveal right now the price of those cars, which everybody took many guesses on. Those cars did not cost me a cent. They cleared out one of the apartments here, and when they did, there was a box out there that had a bunch of little matchbox and Hot Wheels cars in there. And that's where Rachel found them. When she went out to throw some stuff away, she seen them there. So yeah, those were free. <laughs> Now y'all know there's another price I revealed. I haven't revealed a whole lot of the prices for our What's It Worth collection. But if you like trivia and like playing guessing games, eh, go there and check that out. We also have the best 70s, 89s, Legends era uh, valuable antique items, guessing, trivia kind of collection sort of thing like, you know. And I can't pull it up on here because my phone is so slow. It's unbelievably slow. <clears throat> see if we can find it quick. There it is. And I'll show the other one real quick before we sign out. This is the one I'd like you all to go check out if you can. And uh, comment. This is the name of the community, guys. It's a collection on Google Plus. If you'd like me to feature your YouTube channel there, please comment in the chat here on this video, or else in the comment section once uh, the video has become posted up, or hit me on Hangouts or anywhere, and you can certainly I'll share your channel there and promote you. Okay? What's it say? Oh, uh, you did great. You are being yourself, and this is awesome. Just like me, that's why I started YouTube. So people can see the real me as if I was in person with them. That's right. That's that's one of the things I like about your channel, Josh, that you're real. It's the real deal. You're you. You're just being you. And that's, that's an admirable quality about people is to just come out here and be yourself. And not worry if people are going to like it or not, you know, because you're going to have likes and dislikes anywhere in this world you go, whether it's here on uh, YouTube world 
or else out there at the grocery store or on the street anywhere but yeah that's it guys uh we're at the one hour mark i'll thank everybody for coming out and watching thanks for uh joining in the chat and coming out and checking out our channel and uh until next time everybody thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and have a great rest of the night everybody we'll catch y'all later bye bye thank you Bye-bye.